Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about all play games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we started the second chapter. And spoilers, go ahead and watch the rest of the series before this if you haven't already. But Mia Fey has died and her younger sister, Maya Fey, is being blamed for it. And now we have to go ahead and do a couple things. We have to go talk to this famous lawyer that Maya wants to have present represent her and we also have to talk to uh detective gumshoe because he has maya's cell phone and apparently there's a bit of information about something on it i forget exactly what because it's been a couple days since i last recorded so we're gonna go ahead and um we're just going to move to we have fan call offices and grossberg off law offices uh, we haven't seen Grossberg's yet, so let's go ahead and hang out over there. September 6th. Grossberg Law Offices. Can't talk today, apparently. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Let's go ahead and examine some stuff first. We have uh, this bookshelf over here. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny, they don't look like they've ever been read. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. We have this ginormous painting. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either for that matter. So apparently... Both uh, Mia Fey and Grossberg have giant paintings in their office, and they both have plants. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Yeah, seeing what we've seen so far, that's probably not too far off. I didn't mean to click that. Finally, we have this table. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made out of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. I wonder how much that would cost, like a lighter made out of solid gold. I'll have to look into that later. Anyway, since Grossberg's not here, let's go ahead and head over to the Fay and Co. Law Offices. That means I'll have to do Detective G Dick Gumshoe's voice again. September 6th, Fay and Co. Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right, and you were, we, we have a couple options here that we can choose from. Uh, I'll just go with Detective Gumshoe. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick Gumshoe? Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Dick Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. Don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. Be right there. Um, ahem. <clears throat> You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Ooh, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Detective Gumshoe is probably one of the best characters ever. Bookshelf. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these. We have a potted plant. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember I had a bizarre name no one could ever remember. Gordy Line Strict, pal. Who was that? I don't know. Could it be the guy in front of us say who says pal a lot? Or, I don't know, maybe it was someone else. Maybe it's Mia's ghost. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mia's desk. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. That's sad. Also, speaking of sad, for some reason, Phoenix always gets extremely poetic whenever he looks out the windows. This 
sky is blue, and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. It's less poetic there, but, you know, it's very dramatic, I think is what I was trying to say. Also, we got this movie poster right here. Old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. We have the talk option. Let's go ahead and talk to Detective Gumshoe. About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right, you can see the report, but that's all. We got that updated in the court record. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? Zadie's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Pros- uh, yeah, Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Let's talk about Edgeworth. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, uh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. We also gotta... let's present the attorney's badge. Hmm? What's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info, info for the likes of you. We also have Maya's memo. I was wondering, did you see Maya face cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you... Oh, oh, crud. Do you think you could give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. But what should I tell him? Something to matter. Oh, no, um... That carrying strap on the cell phone. This? Hmm. It says, Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Tokyo. The Steel Samurai, that action hero on TV? Yeah, you see the strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That what she said? Um, yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. So we got my face cell phone. And then we can check the court record if we want to see the conversation again. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness with your loyally ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Ah, <laughs> you're trying your loyally tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I, I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Oh god, my throat, and I can see the uh, audacity file is peeking there, so... Oh god, I'll have to chug a bunch of water after this. Thanks for this. Don't mention it, pal! When it comes to dealing with lawyers, fight fair and square is our motto. I don't know how I feel seeing everything written up like this. It makes me as death seem so... routine. Also, um, I think in, like, later games we can also present, uh... Yeah, in later games we can present profiles, but this was the first Ace Attorney game, so there's a lot of stuff in this that they haven't exactly perfected yet. And just a lot of stuff that they'd later do in the second game and third game, and so on and so forth.
now that we've got everything, let's head on over to the uh, detention center. Hey, what is it? Did you meet with the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. Better so. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Hey, uh, I got your cell phone. Oh, I, that's exactly what I said. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. This is a sad episode. Let's head over to... Grossberg's still not here, I think. So let's head on over to the Gatewater Hotel. September 6th. I keep switching between, between saying 6th and 6th. Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Oh god, her. Oh, hello there, handsome. I'll just do my normal voice. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee hee. You're really good at impressions. You should be a voice actor. Uh, memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Well, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Let's go ahead and examine everything. So first we have the bed over here. Simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Next we have the uh, table over here. No, I meant the... This. Bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. I'll have to try and ask about that later. We have the flowers up here. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. Listen, I know nothing about flowers either, but you at least gotta know about, like, flower. Not fl fl You gotta at least know about roses and. Well, yeah, that's the extent of my knowledge, but. With this painting here. Uh, still steam, a still seen painting. Wait, sh should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. And finally, it's time for Poetry with Phoenix. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the fan co offices building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. So... It, you gotta admit that, uh, like, the opening lines to whenever we examine the windows, that sounds like it would be, like, the start of a poem or, like, a novel or something like that. The late summer sunlight streams in through the window, even though this is technically fall. Anyways, what's this drawer all about? There's a screwdriver stuck in, stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you doing? No touching! I don't want to say that line. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. So we could try to talk to her, but uh, she'll say nothing. Hmm. What's inside this? What's inside this, I wonder? <coughs> Maybe later. So, you could try talking to her, like I said, but it's just a lot of embarrassing stuff. Uh, we could try presenting our attorney's badge. Excuse me, but I'm a witness? Police witness? You understand? How could I possibly give you information in good conscience? Hmm? <laughs> me, the witness. It's just like the movie. So yeah, there's not much we can get out of her. We're just gonna... 
head on over to uh, Grossberg's again, because there's nothing else we can do. Hmm. It seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should wait for him to come back. <laughs> that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Aha! So, you're the one they say has been looking for me. How should I do his voice? Because, like... I don't want to do, like, a... Hello, because I'm saving that for another character. Uh, but I don't want to do it. Ah, uh, hello, because that's like a bit more of my judge voice. Hello. Uh, yes, that's me. Looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? How come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Ah, uh, yes. Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Ah, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, that's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Ahem. <clears throat> uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of story. Or discussion. What's going on here? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Also, we have one of the best theme songs in the game. Well, I want to talk about the painting, but let's talk about the refusal first. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Mm, uh, ahem. Well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Fey's sister. Mm, ahem. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. I think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. W what do you mean? I'm terribly, so terribly sorry. But I'm afraid no lawyer worth their salt will take, take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? If I was good at impressions, I would have done the voice for the king from... Zelda Faces of Evil, or whatever the CDI game is called. How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here. Long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. Uh, mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. His techniques include having a ginormous painting and a plant. <laughs> That's quite a painting. Ah, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it, not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. This might be the first guy to recognize our attorney's badge. Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. Never mind. Um... Your... your apprentice is dead, how about that? Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding the matter. So basically, anytime we present something to him, he'll just say, Very sorry. Uh... Let's go ahead and end off the video with talking to Maya. September 6th, 3.42 p.m. Detention Center Visitor's Room. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find the lawyer? 
Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? I see. I've been abandoned then. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several, several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose all my ESP. Feel bad for her. All by herself up on that mountain. So, who is this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Well, so, what happened? The case was solved. We thought... You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... No one is as sad as, any, as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Whew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes, and I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. So... We've been going for a pretty long time now. Let's go ahead and we're pretty close to the end of the chapter. So, or not chapter, we're pretty close to the end of this section.
Gatewater Hotel. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities? I've no need of anything. I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Yeah, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? So let's go ahead and do one last thing. We're gonna examine this drawer. There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? Uh, wiretap? Huh. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the court record. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a store behind all this, I know it. Alright, I'll be using this bit of evidence tomorrow in the tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, Bellboy, still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to tangoing you with, with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court!